Hey, Pete. I'm working on a college application, and it says I gotta tell them about myself. You got any advice? <laughs> Humble brag. Word. Go, MJ. Humble brag again. Damn. I, I can't put that in my essay. That was pretty good. But I'm no Peter Parker. I guess I... <clears throat> Help out with my mom's work in Harlem every now and then. Uh, she's Councilwoman Rio Morales. And there is a girl I like who's spectacular and inspiring. And I think is one of the best artists in the city. And I also got bitten by a radioactive spider that gave me superpowers. I learned how to be a Spider-Man from the OG. But I learned how to be a hero from my dad. He was killed by Martin Lee in the City Hall bombing. The good I try to do every day is the good my dad planted in me. But it's been hard. Even with superpowers, sometimes we can't save the people we love. More like sell yourself. That's the worst. Well, take me. Hi, I'm Peter Parker. I'm 25 years old, I have a bachelor's degree in biophysics, and I'm in love with the greatest woman ever who is the best journalist in this city. I try to live up to the example set by the other greatest woman ever, my Aunt May. And a while back, I was bitten by a radioactive spider and got superpowers. Hey, I'm laying the track as I drive the train. <clears throat> I've used my powers to help the city and stop a lot of people who wanted to hurt it. Like my mentor, Dr. Otto Octavius. His lab got shut down by an old colleague, Norman Osborne. Otto retaliated by releasing a bioweapon. In the end, I managed to stop Otto, but not without great cost. Exactly. You're Miles Morales. You're 17 years old and a student at Brooklyn Visions Academy. What else? One, uh, where am I? Spider-Man! Help! I've been abducted! Someone get a photo with this! Mass criminals kidnap beloved newsman! Oh, they kidnapped me! I did not consent! I, I, oh. Uh, menaces. I'm surrounded by menaces. But J. Jonah Jameson is not going anywhere, you hear me? I'm not going anywhere! Wait, where am I going? Where am I going? Right before the app went down, I saw a request for help at Liberty and Broadway. Uh, Mr. Parker, I need your help to get the app back online. Get to the roof of the building on Worth and Lafayette. It's gonna be hours before the telecom network's back up, so... We're gonna create our own network. Oh, he just left. Something about going on vacation? Also, while you were gone, I found out that I got the Rand Scholarship. Oh man, I can't watch this. But I also can't look away. Hola, mijo. How's the essay going? Just... It's better if I don't know the details. Espera un momento. Um, you know how there have been a few nights recently where you've been working late, and so I also worked late? Well, I wasn't working. Don't give me that look. I'm not in any trouble. It's just, um, I've been going on some dates. Dating, actually. And there's this one guy. I've seen him a few times, and it's... Well, it's going well. I'd like to have him over. For Barcelona. No, I'd like him to meet you. And I'd like you to meet him. But if you're not comfortable, I totally understand. Okay, después. We really gotta do this with the mask on? Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again. Your dad used to give me that exact same look. Kid, I know what you're thinking, Miles. This is not on you. We can't let him live up here. It's just another kind of prison. I never said it was, but sometimes you gotta push the past away so you can make room for the future. What do you want? Why? Good. 
We all have to experience loss. Even you, Norman. The final chapter. Maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. Hey there, big man. Man, it feels good to see you. Lots changed since I left. You became a whole hero. No more now. You're more than just Spider-Man. You can try and hide behind that mask, but I know who you are. And what you stand for. I've been watching you. What happened to the boy that I raised? You're a coward. Stain on our family. Yeah. I do. We all do. You're a failure, Miles. Yeah. Yeah. Always will be. Peter Parker! <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Oh. Really? Be ready. Are you good? Anything. It'll work. I'm not going to lose you. I will never let you go. <laughs> Promise me something. This doesn't work. Take me out. I don't have a lot of time left. I want a chance to say goodbye. You made it! Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less... this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Uh, dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. Miles, Mr. Atlas just got here. He's handing out scholarship applications right now. I'll do better than that. Send you a link. Good luck. And hurry. Spider-Man. I always hated that name. This has nothing to do with you. Leave me alone! Or I'll kill you. Should have stayed away, spiders. I just wanted to live normal, like everyone else. For a guy like me, there is no other way. You're the ones who are gonna need help when they come for you. Someone's watching us, Kimia. But I don't want you to worry. That's my job. Students have evacuated their classroom. Where are you? Mr. Parker! Get back here and supervise your students, or else. Mr. Parker, where are you? I better see you in 10 seconds. Yeah. Guess who decided to show up today? Uh, okay. No more excuses. Your job is to protect these students, not to abandon them. You're fired. You grow slow in your old age, Sergei. <laughs> A fate you will not share. I've been in your shadow for hours, but you sense nothing. <laughs> Pathetic. I asked for an equal, and this is what you find. Light the fires. 
The great hunt begins. For the last few years, tragedy has tried to tear the city apart. But we somehow kept going. We battled sickness, evil, cataclysm. We are tired, anxious, stressed, numb. But we have never lost hope. The city needs to heal. We're all ready to return to normal, but what is normal? What if it no longer exists? Over the last half hour, I've talked about how these events have changed me. But what about you? In this ongoing series, I will be talking with people throughout the city, exploring our new behaviors, new routines, new thoughts and feelings. I hope you'll join me on this journey. This has been Mary Jane Watson, and you're listening to The New Normal. I'm so sorry. I might be joining you in the unemployment line. Hey guys, you might want to get downtown fast. Really loving the new regime. According to witnesses, he was running down Broadway yelling nonsense. They say he seemed angry and, and paranoid and delusional. He just exploded. What was that? Peter. Hey, what's, what's wrong? When I was your age, I was head of the debate club captain of the soccer team, and second violin in orchestra. <laughs> Every year, I wanted a new feather in my cap. But when I tried to add honor roll student on top, I fell apart. Instead of being good at a few things, I wasn't good at anything. So, I scaled back. Balance is a process, not a destination. I'm still working on that. Oh, come on. Come on. Thanks a million kiss. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Where did you get that? Come with me. It's just as I thought. It's a fragment of a meteorite that landed outside the city years ago. It's where we found that. We call it a symbiote. It, it bonds at the subcellular level with its host. Uh, in our case, Harry Osborne. He gave it to you? Huh. Little spider wants to play, huh? This was never about Craven. You're Spider-Man. You've saved the city before. You'll do it again. Look, kid. Not that it's your business. My girlfriend's in Paris. And I got her into trouble with some bad people. Have you ever done something for love? She needs me now. If only I could figure out how to go more than 10 feet with this thing. Red's a smart one. But you gotta make your own choices, kid. Hello. I'm Quentin Beck, master illusionist. And this is Betsy, my business partner, and Cole, my technical advisor. And this... is the next generation of entertainment. Excellent! Cool. 
A brave young man, ready to experience the future firsthand. Is there anyone else out there with courage in their hearts? Come on, come all, and experience the future! There's a kiosk up ahead. Just keep moving. There you are. You never did like my smoking. Little likes call me Wraith. Fits pretty well, I think. No time. They made their choice. Trust you? What about you trusting me? You need to figure out your priorities. Because I'd rather lose sleep over the one person I killed than all the ones I didn't save. He's gone. He'll go underground just like last time. But I'll find him. I told you. I'm trying to save the most lives. And you still do that pretty well. You gonna turn me in now? I'll let you know when I find him. I need some time to myself. Besides, we've taken down a good chunk of his operation. So he'll be going back to the drawing board. I'll start checking his old aliases. Archie Abel, Walter Wackman, Cletus Cassidy. But this could take months, maybe even years. You can't. They rigged this whole thing. What did I just tell you? You trying to kill everyone here? Now what? Hold up. Only downside to going straight. The game keeps you in shape. They couldn't have off me if they tried. Sides, they were waiting for their boss to do the deed. Yeah. They come for me again, I'll be ready. Tell your friend thanks for looking out for me. See you around, Spider. Get me out of here! Coward! parts of me here. I'm not looking for a fight. Craven, as the other Spider-Man trapped in an old mansion east of the city. He saved me. Told me to find you. This was the only way I knew how. I owe him my life. And much more. If we hurry, we're going to heal everyone. Anything about Oscorp? <laughs> the fool's beacon himself, as I prophesied. <laughs> I knew you had it in you, Yuri. <laughs> and I owe it all to you. God, that's beautiful. And when the crimson hour rolls over this earth, it shall bring truth. Judgment. <laughs>